This is Istanbul's newest mosque, and today opened by Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Ya Allah! Bismillah. For two decades, the president has reshaped Turkey, giving himself vast power, disrupting global diplomacy, picking battles with the West. He's now geeing up his supporters for the weekend's presidential election. Three hours away in the city of Bursa, support amid the bustle. This stall holder tells me he loves the president from the heart, that he'd vote for him a million times if he could. This customer says Erdogan is a real man, a leader who even stands up to America. But in truth, Erdogan's grip on power is under strain. His political opponents have united behind a single candidate, welcomed by ever bigger crowds. It's this man, Kemal Kilishtaroglu, talking to us in his final broadcast interview before the election, telling me his country's been damaged by Erdogan. For you, do you want to be the president of Turkey, or really do you want Erdogan to stop being the president. Türkiye'nin kolonlarında ciddi bir tahribat var. Yasama, yargı, yürütme dediğimiz demokrasi ana kolonlarında ciddi bir tahribat var. Bunu düzeltmek istiyoruz. Hem cumhurbaşkanı olmak istiyorum hem de Türkiye'yi gerçekten de demokratik bir ülke yapmak istiyorum. He tells me he will reconcile his country, support Sweden joining NATO and repair Turkey's fractured international relations. Biz Batı'nın uygar dünyanın bir parçası olmak istiyoruz. Ülkemizde demokrasi istiyoruz. Otoriter bir yönetim istemiyoruz. Özgürlükler istiyoruz. Gençler ve kadınlar büyük ölçüde sıkıldılar. Onlar da özgürlük istiyorlar. Dolayısıyla biz Avrupa Birliği'nin öngördüğü bütün demokratik kuralları kendi ülkemize getireceğiz. Are you worried about any dirty tricks on the day of the election? Oynuyor zaten. Hayatımda onun kadar yalan söyleyen ikinci bir kişi görmedim. Gerçekleri çarpıtarak her türlü karalamayı yapıyor ama ne yaparsa yapsın halkın tercihi benden yana olacak. Outside the crowd is gathering to hear him. Well in just a few minutes time Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu the man who has united Turkey's opposition parties will come up to this stage to deliver one of his final speeches before Sunday's election. And that is the scene that will greet him. Thousands of thousands of his supporters, increasingly confident that he will be the next president. Kilis tells them to work for a brighter future. His logo is a heart symbol. Many here see him as the opportunity for a new start. I am 44 years old. 20 years, maybe the best years of my life, have been spent under oppression and intimidation and in an atmosphere of crisis. Alongside her, teenagers who've never known life without Erdogan. Kilic Tarolo comes from the people. We know his house and his kitchen. He's not someone who's going to live in the palace. Kilis Tarolu is the face of change craved by many, but others across this country are happy or reconciled with what they've got. This will be a close election in a desperately divided nation. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Bursa.